Everyone associated with the film is, is hostile to the idea of any lesbian content in the story. So you have Ingrid Pitt in interviews uh, calling the novella silly and absolutely denying that the film has uh, a lesbian uh, content or lesbian subtext. Ingrid Pitt has said uh, several times in interviews she never saw Carmilla as being uh, sexual and certainly not gay. And this is not that Ingrid Pitt had anything to, saw anything wrong with it at all. She saw that creature simply trapped, you know, essentially an asexual creature, you know, trying to reach out to touch someone else. I'm dying. Yes. And, you know, unfortunately, she was a vampire, and when she touched other people and or drank their blood, they died. Screenwriter Tudor Gates uh, said that he insisted that the uh, Incorporating lesbian content in the film uh, was a mistake that would lead to a film that no one would like. And then you have uh, Roy Wood Baker, the director, who states that uh, he read the novella twice without being able to detect uh, any lesbian uh, content. He said, but he guesses it's there if you choose to see it. But uh, what's funny is that he concludes by saying that if there is lesbian content, it must be accidental, it must be unintentional, because after all, Le Fanu is an Irishman and a Victorian. Now, what's particularly laughable about that comment is that The Vampire Lovers ends with a visual reference to the story, the picture of Dorian Gray. Uh, we see uh, a portrait aging. And uh, as we all know, the uh, picture of Dorian Gray was written by a gay Victorian Irishman, Oscar Wilde. So I, I really think it's risable to suggest that a Irish Victorian was incapable of incorporating homosexuality into a story.